Typical Gellert here, and today I'm going to show you how to get TW Loader on your Nintendo 3DS with custom firmware and installed ROMs on it. Alright, let's get into it. So first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google. Let the camera focus here for a sec. Alright, you're going to go to Google. You're going to type... Or search Big Blue Box 3DS. You're gonna search that. And you're gonna um Okay, I guess we can go to GitHub or not GitHub. GBA no, that's the wrong one. Should have found it first. Hopefully this is the one, guys. Okay, so you're going to go here. And you're going to click Download Download Big Blue Box Nintendo 3DS Dev Menu and CIA Install. You're going to click that. You're going to download it. You're going to have to download a Rare Extractor. You're going to extract it, put it into a folder, and you're going to copy this and put it on the root of your S or in the CIA folders in your SD card. And once you do that, I'll transfer back to the 3DS. FBI right here. You're going to click SD card, CIAs, right there. There we go. Click A. You're going to go down to... Um, did I not put it there? Sorry guys, I'm more messed up than usual. One side SD card. And you're going to go to your CIA's folder. You're going to install Big Blue Menu, or Big Blue Box Menu, whichever one it says. Once you do that, you're going to go home, exit out of FBI, and it should look something like this. Right here. It's going to say Big Blue Box, it's going to have a box, and it's going to say Title Manager, so you're going to click that. going to go to SDMC and you're going to go down to 3DS there we go sorry guys you're going to go down to um your TW loader folder you're going to go down to SD root, NDS, I don't know why it's under NDS, but it is, um, they put it under there for some reason. You're going to go down to CIA, sorry guys, you're going to go down to TW loader, side and install both of these. So once those are installed after you click A, you're gonna go you're gonna click A again. Progr me, it says program already exists because I just installed it to make sure it works. So you're gonna close it. And it's gonna look like this. And I'm just gonna It's gonna have the 3DS shop or the DSI shop sound gonna look like that and it's gonna look like this it's gonna look like the DS our DSI menu so we can change the theme oh I don't have any themes but um 
change the color. Just gonna show you all the things you can do. It, you can change it to brown, red, alright, menu color, white, black, brown, red, pink, orange, yellow, yellowish green, like neon, green one, green two, light green, sky blue, light blue, blue. You can change show file name to on. Game counter. On. Custom bottom image. You can turn that on or off. Auto update bootstrap. Auto update to the latest TW, TW loader. I recommend turning that on. Just so you always get the latest version. And you can also change the ROM path. So if you have flash card or if you use SD. Go to SD and you can just type it in. Like random. Uh, yeah. Now checking TW loader version. And now it's downloading the latest version. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video, and it's going to be how to play NDS, NDS, like Nintendo DS games on your 3DS.